We believe it. The more that we serve. Listen to this. When they were on a journey, Jesus was walking the earth. And they needed to feed 5,000. What did he say? They say he has is a lad with lunch. And in his lunch, he had what? Y'all don't know what he had? He had, see that's why you can't identify. Because you need to know what the word said. He said, five minutes, five loaves, and two, and they were like sardines. And these were like little things. But listen to what he said. There's a lad that has a lunch. He's willing to share it. The one that brought the lunch to Jesus had confidence in Jesus that he could use that lunch and feed the 5,000. Not only that, but he believed that God, that Jesus could use it. But what did Jesus, you see, you got to believe this. You're not going to identify in Christ. You're not going to have an identity in Christ unless you believe what he says. So he brought the lunch and he offered it up to Jesus. Jesus didn't say this is too small, look at all of these people. Yeah. Jesus did not say, I can't do anything with this. All you need is a seed. Yeah. All you need is a little something yeah. for God to know that you trust him enough to work with it. Yeah. That's all you need. Oh. They brought the lunch to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And when Jesus took the lunch <laughs> and he offered it up, not like it this. Spirit. Yeah. We are sons of God. Yes, sir. 
John did antropo mankind. Yeah. We are sons of God. So we must walk in the spirit. Our actions are to celebrate who we are in Christ. I, and you personalize it, I am a warrior priesthood. Yeah. I am a holy nation. Yeah. I'm a people to belong to God. Yeah. That you may declare the praises of God of him who has called you out yeah. of darkness yeah. into the marvelous light. Yeah. You're no longer walking in darkness. Yeah. God is opening up to you the treasures of him. Yeah. He's getting you to know, let you know that no matter what you're going through, God already prepared a way of escape. Yeah. I don't care where you are. God promised to never leave you, yeah. not forsake you. God wants you to identify with him. He wants you to walk up right before him. He wants you to treat everybody the way he treats it. Forget about the drug addicts down there. Go and get them and tell them that Jesus loves them. Don't, don't worry about whether they want to believe you or not. If you operate in the Holy Ghost, uh, you identify with Christ. Uh, all you have to do is to tell them, uh, get up and come and go with me to my father's house. In my father's house, there's healing. In my father's house, there's deliverance. In my father's house, there's peace. In my father's house, there's joy. Why? Because we are in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, there is peace. In Christ Jesus, there is hope. In Christ Jesus, there is longevity. In Christ Jesus, we can operate in the fullness of God. Why? Because the word of God just lets us know that we are not to lean into our own understanding, but lean into God's understanding. So bring that to the house of God so the house of God can be filled. God, man, can feed them. He can build them up and they can go forth and multiply. You identify with Christ. Your identity is in Christ. Not in man, but in Christ. And Christ is solid rock, I said. All the rocks are sinking, said. God has promised you. He'll never leave you now for Savior. You got favor with God. You got the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not for a dance. The Holy Ghost is not for just clapping. The Holy Ghost is power. 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 To make the lame walk. Power. To make the dumb talk. Power. 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 Do you have that power? Is your identity in Christ? Give the Lord a hand. Is your identity in Christ? Are you still operating in your own flesh? Because flesh can't tarry in the sight of God. They don't make it together. You either fight or you're against it. We'll stand.